Here we go, versus Luna. Oh. Good play, brother. Good play, good play. Oh, good stuff, man, good stuff. Oh, what a, what a professional. Hey, let's fly to the top. Hey, what's up Vulcaneers? Today I'm going to be playing Mortar Bait and just a little update on how this season has been going for me. I currently, well you can see, I'm doing pretty well with this Mortar Bait deck. Not very many losses, but I was trying out this other variation and I played it in Grand Challenges last night and I got 8-8-7. Eight, eight, and I, I think I think part of the reason there was just because I was tired. Like, I think I probably could have won those green challenges if I was playing better. But um, then I played it this morning on ladder. And I found that it was just really hard to beat, like, arrows players. Like, you're seeing, I'm basically winning most of my matchups. Except when I place arrows or, like, double small spell. Then I'm just, like, really struggling versus these arrows players. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to try this other variation since it's not weak to arrows. And, I mean, it's been pretty successful. So, it seems to me like, in this meta, if you're facing a lot of arrows, then probably use this variation. But if you're not facing a lot of arrows, I'd probably go with a Mortar Bait deck. But, this deck definitely seems to be back in the meta. So, and even like versus Magic Archer, which is what this deck used to be, like really bad versus and Wall Breakers. Um, since, they, since they nerfed the Magic Archer, you can actually win those matchups like a lot easier than you used to be able to. So starting off here. Crikey. We're just gonna go with the mortar. And Okay, so he has Sparky. So probably not worth it to uh I think I need to snowball or that's too much damage. So off to a really bad start here, dang. So hopefully that fully counters. It does, right? Yeah, it fully counters. Okay, so that's a plus one electric trade. But now that we know his deck, we basically can't play offensive mortars. I think we might even... What do we do here? Do we wait for his play or do we just defense a mortar? Okay. Thankfully he made a move. Have that ready just in case. I think I goblins just like for some pressure. Then set up a musketeer in the back. Definitely don't want to play my Valkyrie. At least musketeer will get a shot or two on the Sparky. So oh man, this is like a really annoying matchup. Basically all you have to do is just play like super patient and super slow and pretty much the only way you're going to get the win. So that goblin goes over there. That's really good for me. Looks like it is going to. Unfortunately, we don't really want to attack quite yet. We're probably just going to cycle the Miner. I think it's worth it to just poison that and then set up a defensive mortar here. So now we've got to wait for some move. Uh, unfortunately, at the goblins, that also gets too much damage. You know what? We're gonna go there, see if we can get some damage on this tower. It looks like we can't. We're kind of doing okay, though. Yeah, we just gotta set up the defensive mortar again. Probably just poison. I mean. Well, he doesn't have a minion horde, also, so poison cycle is definitely the way ourselves some high bats. Honestly. 
Just gonna let that get a hit on my tower. Then we're gonna wait here. Okay, now I'm gonna... Minor and... Figure it'd probably be an overcommitment to poison that, so we're just gonna... Let everything die here. Go on the offensive. Probably even poison. And he's pretty much forced to go with a snowball on those. Oh, nice. So now we're going to have a really solid counter push. I'm going to minor in the front. Unfortunately, he predicts it. Kind of hoping he's going to go on the other side. And we can't really do anything about it, though. Okay, I got to stop talking here and just concentrate. I mean, yeah, it looks like we got the win. Right? Am I missing something? No, we got the win, definitely. So there we go. GG for game number one. Kind of like a rough matchup. I mean, the only the only difference is if you're playing like versus a variation I just played against. Um, instead of the variation versus the minion horde, it's just that you have to make sure you cycle really quickly. Because if you poison their Sparky and they outcycle your um, poison then you're just going to end up being in a lot of trouble. So that's pretty much the only difference in the Sparky matchups. But pretty much consistently, like, poisoning Sparky is the only way to win those. So here we go. I'll just Goblin's first pl play for some pressure at the bridge, and then... Oh, I'm guessing this time it's going to be Giant Graveyard. After seeing that. You know what, we're just going to poison that, to be honest. Oh, maybe this is Sparky. Okay. I mean, since we don't have an ice golem, it's just like a little bit risky to not poison that. And we're just going to wait. Yep. There's the Sparky. Nice. The matchup I was just talking about. So I actually think this matchup is probably harder than the last matchup. But hopefully we'll still be able to win. With the Musketeer over here, just in case he has like a fireball. And the snowball was just to like slow everything down. Looks like it works out pretty well because we have a decent counter push. I think I'll just bat to pressure. I'm not even gonna minor. Cause I'm just gonna minor into a skeleton army. Yep, there's a skeleton army. So I'm glad I didn't play the minor. And I think that's gonna be too much damage to my tower, so I'm just gonna suicide some goblins to avoid the tower damage. Not gonna get too aggressive here. I don't think I have an elixir advantage, so like doesn't make a whole lot of sense to attack. So we literally just minor to cycle to the snowball. I wish I had goblins here. I'm probably gonna have to overcommit a Valkyrie now. Yep. Would have preferred to not play that Valkyrie. Can I goblins with this? I don't know. It'd probably be a little bit too risky. Yeah, then he just gets free sparky value. Okay, good thing I didn't goblins. So now we wait. Probably just defense and mortar because he's probably just gonna giant in front of this. Yes, he does. Oh my gosh. We gotta get aggressive here. Wait, he just gave us like a free lock on the tower. This could be good for us. No, no, no. Let's see. Probably just going to split bats here. 
Okay, then just gonna poison. I mean, poisoning, it's a 4 for 4 trade, definitely worth it. I'm only down 2 elixir with the bat, so it's okay to do. I think I'll goblins the bridge, same lane, because then he's gonna have to play something in front, which kind of puts him in an awkward position. I'll cycle my musketeer high, that way if he like, decides to go with something opposite lane, I can just pull it to the musketeer. So what does he have? I'm not too sure, but I think Mortar's a good play here. I'm gonna go ahead and go with the Miner here, just kind of... So that he has to over... Defend this? Oh, he has... Okay, roll delivery. Very interesting. I think I'll just let it get... Let's see how many hits it gets in my tower. I think it gets one hit by itself. Okay, one hit's not that bad. Probably just goblins to cycle. So this is a matchup. I think I just want to cycle musketeers in the back. And now we wait. Play ourselves a defense mortar. Don't really want to offense a mortar in this matchup too much, honestly. Pretty much just want to save our mortar for defense. I mean... I don't know, it depends. Because if I get an elixir advantage, I probably will be wanting to play it on offense. I think I just poison the magic archer regardless of what side it's on. Since we have tower damage on both sides, like we can switch towers if we need to here. So just cycle on the back since he already has those bats down. I don't really want to minor into a mini P.E.K.K.A. also. So misclick my miner by one tile. Hopefully it doesn't cost me too bad. Go with a musketeer here. That should be able to fully counter. Do you have to be careful he doesn't outcycle us? So we're going to play a high Valkyrie. And also, since he has Royal Delivery, he can never kill our bats on offense. So that's like super important to remember. He also can't kill our goblins. So honestly, I'm just going to keep poisoning his Magic Archer every time. Just, I just want to get it off the field, right? If he Earthquakes, then I'll Snowball if I need to. Looks like I'm not going to need to because he's not going to Earthquake. So now I'll just wait. I'll just keep playing defensive here. Probably just Snowball that. He's probably going to Earthquake this time, so I'm going to definitely play a Musketeer. Yes, he does. And do I really want to attack into him? Oh, I really thought he was gonna... Um... I really thought he would roll delivery that. So I made sure to play my bats there out of range of like... I mean, that's chip damage, but not that big of a deal. Out of range of the Ice Golem. So here, I think we can just... Defend, we'll wait, he's probably just gonna cycle to a Hog Rider. Unfortunately, we kinda had... We had to play a little bit of an awkward mortar. But either way, we knock it to the other lane, and we're just gonna attack in the front. Unless he catches it with Ice Golem. Oh, he does catch it with Ice Golem. And World Delivery, nice. Gonna keep playing it patient. Looks like he predicts us again. I mean, we have so much damage on his right tower. We can almost take his right tower now. So I think I'm gonna juke him out here. And looks like he finally doesn't predict us. And that's probably a good game. Yeah, one more poison finishes it off. So notice how, even though, like, I potentially could have finished it. Even though I potentially could have finished it there, I decided to play more patient and I ended up getting the win still. Pretty much just waiting here. 
Bat should be good, especially since he just used his zap. So look, looking like, looks like he's probably gonna, no, he doesn't. Okay. Let's see, do I wanna go same lane or opposite lane? I think opposite lane, so we'll minor over here. And of course he predicts it. I honestly didn't think he'd predict the front. So we got a mortar here just to like keep our cycle going, you know, make sure he doesn't stack up a big push. And then we'll go with the um, Musketeer, and we'll be able to snipe that Electro Wizard, which will really help us out a lot. Since he's zapped, we're just going to use... Oh, and he has... Wait. Why does he have triple spell with the Miner? This is going to be rough. So he probably doesn't have Dark Prince. We just got to eat that Miner damage on the tower now, and then... Go with the mortar. I mean, there's pretty much no other play because I can't just Valk in the back would be a bad play right here. So we probably just go with the musketeer here, and we try to cycle, but we don't get it unfortunately. Wow! So he predicts, and his prediction isn't going to work. Which means we're going to get down some nice dual lane pressure here, and then go with the uh, Mortar since he played that Prince instead of the Miner. Okay, so we're going to get a lot of damage on both of his towers. The Prediction Log really helped us out a lot. Pretty much just going to spam everything in. Just defend that minor let or defend the giant push at all costs because it wasn't really that good of a push by him. Keep going with the offensive mortar because we can do we can defend this uh we can defend this giant without the mortar. Actually gonna play this high to avoid fireball value on his on the tower. And then I'm gonna play the Valk on defense here. Go ahead and goblins. And let's see, he actually probably doesn't have that good of an answer to a miner right now. I can musketeer here. Well, that's the other lane. And remember, he just uses goblins, or he just uses his, uh... Log, and actually, I think we take his tower, right? Yep, GG. We really got to get in the zone. I think I'm going to talk a little bit less than I usually do here, because... I'm not going to lie, I've been struggling to win. But I think the reason why is just because my elixir counting has been off. And I already did a bad play. I should have... Um, I should have minored in the back there, because it was obvious he didn't have Tornado after seeing those first cards. This is probably Royal Hogs. Should be a decent defense. Okay, so I need to really keep in mind here that I need to be cycling my Musketeers in the back. And that's going to be how I'm going to be winning this. Okay, we're going to start the Musketeer cycle. I might even defense a Miner here, either that or I'll Snowball. Ah. You know, I was going to Miner, but then when he gave me the Ice Golem, that kind of gives my Valk a little more value. I think it's... I don't think I want to poison that. I think instead I want to go like so. That's pretty good. Pretty good for us. I think it's another hit on the tower. Okay. So now our bats get a lot of value, so 
but we don't have a good punish in hand or anything. And he also has ice golems, so we just need to save our best for defense here. I think I goblins the bridge. I don't think he has log, right? Because he showed snowball. So I guess we'll just go here and Wait, he just did a really bad earthquake, which means I'm probably just going to attack here. Oh man, unfortunately I also flayed my uh, mortar in the wrong spot, so I couldn't really protect it. We'll keep those bats alive, and that's good for us. Now we wait. Play Valkyrie in the back, play it in the middle so it's going to be closer to the Royal Hogs. Have to play Defensive Mortar here, and then we play our Musketeer. I'm not worried about him like Magic Archer or anything, because obviously he doesn't have Magic Archer, so I would play it a little bit differently probably, or a little bit more carefully if I was worried about that. Um, I think now I'm going to poison. That was kind of a weird interaction there. I'm not sure why, like, the midi P.E.K.K.A. I don't know. I don't know. I'd have to rewind time just to, to tell you guys what I'm talking about. So we're just going to cycle over our troops, save our mortar. We have to be using our mortar on defense here. I'm going to try to get some hits on the tower. And looks like we will be able to succeed with that. Oh, two hits on the tower. Nice. Fortunately, he predicts us, though. Wait, I think we win. Hopefully. Body block with some goblins. Dang, that was close. That was very close, but we got the victory. Uh-oh, he's, al he's already clapping. We'll get some clapping down too. Oh, man. I think we just send a solo Valk and then we just pray. Yeah. So let's see, how can we get our goblins to go to- Now go to the golem, please, please. Yes, let's go. Okay, he's not gonna have enough elixir here to use like a lightning, right? So this is gonna be a very valuable musketeer. I think I'm even gonna Valk here just to protect my musketeer. The Valk doesn't take all that much damage. Do I mortar or do I attack? Oh, he just used arrows, so I'm going to go Miner, and then Goblins. Dang, that Bomber needs a nerf. Look at that. Look at that 1 HP Bomber. <laughs> I think I have an Elixir Advantage, so I'm going Mortar. Okay. So this is going to be the Musketeer DPS down the Golem show, and then everything else is going to, like, yeah, fall into place. So we're going to play this early, force out a Baby Dragon, then we're going to get down a Poison. Go ahead and protect that. And wow, that was a really solid defense, actually. Grr. I'm sorry, but he has a really good matchup, so like... If, if he's mad about it, then I'm happy about it. <laughs> I 
I think we attack the bridge here. Okay. He's probably just going to let this tower die now, so we're just going to defense and mortar. And no, he doesn't let the tower die. So we'll just go with the miner here. But I think... And I think I, I think it's okay to play bats high. It, like, forces out the baby dragon early. And then... Or it forces him to do that. And GG. Okay, versus Azdeen. Look at that dragon eye. Just like demands to be stared at. Oh my gosh. What a good play. Those bats were probably a bad play. I think I need to just minor now that I decided to commit the bats. <laughs> Those goblins were bad. Dang, arrows do a ton of damage. Okay, I, I played that way too aggressive. I should have just bats by themselves. I mean, I should have just played Valkyrie by itself and just let it go. If I would have known his deck, then that's a different story because I could have punished accordingly, but I didn't know his deck, so that was probably yeah, an overcommitment. So here we go. We're just going to... Actually, we're going to attack here and then... The minor tanks for the baby dragon. That's kind of the goal of that, so that's good. Since we had a counter push down, get a ton of damage on his tower. And we'll just let that die now. I think if I snowball, it pretty much just cleans everything up. Could have also musketeered. Yeah, maybe. Well, musketeer is more expensive, but it doesn't take as much tower damage. I think I goblins here, because I want to save my Valk for when he plays the Lava Hound. And if this force is out of Valk, then that's good for me. Okay, I already played the bats in the back, so I might as well go with the Valkyrie now. And now we wait, see what he does. And imagine if I had Prediction minored and blocked that baby dragon. Okay, so between poison and snowball, we pretty much clean everything up. We got a ton of damage on his other tower. I think I just goblin the bridge by themselves because it demands a negative elixir trade from him. Nice. Just go with a miner. And then. Okay, Valk Bats. I mean, we win, right? Like, there's nothing he can do here. We're gonna miner this side, snowball the other side. And he doesn't even take either of our towers, so... GG. Okay, well, for a second there, I thought my bass didn't play. Hopefully that lag does not continue. Go ahead and play our Solstice Musketeer. I think I have the defensive mortar. He's playing the dumb Mega Knight deck, and... If if I go offensive, and then I don't have enough Elixir for defense, then I'm just kind of screwed. So our Miner's going to get some good chip damage, because of those goblins and now we wait this is a matchup where I probably don't want to be cycling my valkyrie you'll probably just want to be saving it i think now's a good time to uh mortar though just need to have our batch ready in case he plays the infernal dragon I mean, this is good for us. A lot of value on this Musketeer. 
But we don't want to counter push here since it's just going to give us Mega Knight value. Even though we may be having an Elixir Advantage or even. I also can't. I can't really Miner here because he has Goblin Gang in hand. I think I'm actually just going to Valkyrie the back. I feel like that's the play. He doesn't have Infernal Dragon in hand. Uh, oh, never mind. He did. But either way, I just play Mortar now. Give myself some high bats. Um. Honestly, going with defensive minor. So it looks like we protect our musketeer. He's not happy about that. Probably a good time to go with another mortar since we have that musketeer alive. Then we see what he does here. I think defensive miners the play. We let that get a couple hits on the tower, and then we Valkyrie as soon as those goblins get in range. Go with another Mortar, don't want to spam too many troops because then he gets Mega Knight value. But I'm also going to simultaneously send the Miner since um, Mega Knight doesn't actually get that much value. Oh, we pull back. That wasn't even intentional, but it's going to like... I mean, obviously you're always hoping that that happens, but I didn't actually expect him to, to use his Mega Knight in the wrong spot. And there we go, GG. Here we go, versus Luna. Oh, good play, brother. Good play, good play. Oh, good stuff, man, good stuff. Oh, what a what a professional. He definitely didn't just get a negative four elixir trade, I think. Unfortunately, you can't really defend minions without a snowball. So we're gonna have to take the two hits and just move on with our lives. Since he's probably not gonna have tornado, we're gonna go here. So, does he have Sparky? I think we'll just go like so, and then we're gonna Goblins. See if again- well... Oh. Okay, good play, brother. Good play, good play. Good stuff. That's what I like to hear. That's what I like to see. I'm pretty sure he has Sparky. Pretty sure. Okay. Mm. I think I just defense and mortar. The thing is, I don't want to offense and mortar. I probably have an elixir advantage, but he's probably going to Sparky. Yep, there's the Sparky. And I'm pretty sure I have to do this, even though, like, he has Minion Horde. Oh, nice. I was, like, about to play my Valkyrie, but I didn't even need it. And I think we outcycled the Sparky, so now we're going to off into Mortar, hopefully. Looks like we maybe did. Just to keep that all alive with our Valkyrie. Ooh. One more hit. One more. One more. Nope. I think even if he Sparky's here, it's still worth it to go like this, though. Just defend this with a Valk. And as soon as it locks on, we're going to bats behind to at least get some damage on those minions. And okay. Okay, brother. Since he played it high, we're not going to poison. Because we won't be able to cycle to a second poison. We're going to go here. And then surround it. At our Valk ready in case he decided to arrows. So... Honestly, he's probably not going to protect here. Most people don't. Yeah, even though it's like... The obvious prediction spot. Now that so many people know about it, most people don't actually predict there anymore. So we got the win. Versus... I don't know what the final product of this video is going to be. I did a lot of matches. And I, did, and I didn't record all the matches that I did either. 
I like kind of pushed a couple games. I lost a couple games and pushed a couple games. But we ended up pushing from like 6,100 to 6,337 this video. It's a good push. With the mortar, I kind of figured out that um, from playing it that, man, you really got to concentrate and like really pay attention to what you're doing. It seems to me like any mistake is going to end up costing you the game in this meta. And, but it is a good deck. Like we definitely ended up pushing high with it. You just got to really pay attention like more so than uh, with a lot of decks. Yeah, that's going to wrap up the video today. Please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and check out the rest of the videos on my channel. And Vulcan out.